Hey guys, today I'm going to make a small, short clip on how to make tailor rigs. Right. Before you get started, you should put, you should lay out all the stuff you're going to need, so you can see what stuff you need to buy and you need to take out. So now I got some 20 pound mono line, which is about 9.1 kilos. That will do if you're going, if you're just going off the jetty and off the beach and stuff but and here's some 30 pound this is what I'm going to use just in case you get a big tailor that fights or something and yeah I've also got some 50 pound some 50 pound bulk line it's really thick as you can tell and that's what you would use if you're going out on a boat, deep sea fishing or something, which that is 22.7 kilos. Okay. Also got some line cutters, scissors, and then right here there's there's a circle, as you can see. You should you're meant to put, have the line through there so you can cut it easier. And some four-row gangs, which would be, which is a good size for um, to put muleys on. And this is when I went down to Durian the couple of weeks ago, and we were catching ta old Taylor. My friend caught a 51 centimeter one off muleys, just casting it off a jetty and retrieving it. And then the first night we just caught. Nine Taylor, I think it was, by just dropping it through in a large school of fish. So, yeah. um, a sinker, a like, I think it's a th size three star sinker. It really depends what you're going to be doing. This is good for beach fishing. You could, you might need to use a six five four if it's a windy day or the current's pretty strong, so it doesn't like wash away. Um, when we went on the jetty, we weren't using a sinker, which the man said it's better if you don't, because you can feel the bite. So we took off the sinker and we caught nine Taylor. So yeah, um, a three star, wait, a three way swivel. It's a pretty small one, which you have line going up, line going down. Would you put? You can either put in the three gangs or the sinker. I would normally put in the three gang and then the sinker going out this way. And if you don't have one already, a swivel to put on your line. Now, whenever I do all my rigs, I on the top I put on a um, loop knots, which is just a loop, and then you unclip your swivel. And then it just goes in, you clip it, and it's good. That's an easy method instead of just cutting off cutting off your line and then putting on another swivel and in this way you can just unclip it, take off the rig, un and then get the other rig out and then just loop it on. So yeah, hardy now. From your main line to the swivel you would want about oh, half a metre to 30 centimetres I would say and then you just grab your wire cutters and just cut make sure you're holding on to it so you don't lose it oh, so yeah now what you do for the loop knot is you Make it into a loop like that. Alright, this is the loop knot. So what you do is you make a loop from your finger so it looks like that. And you just wrap it around your finger once. Get it off. And you put the small loop that you've got around the circle once. Wait, whoops once and then another another time 
and you get the loop oh, and you pull so now that's what it should look like like that and then you got this thing here that you don't want so you just go through it with your scissors and then you just cut it off so then that's what it should look like a long piece with the thing on it right now what you do is you make sure when you get your swivel make sure you line it up so it looks like that not like not so you tie it on here otherwise it will be look like that which you don't want but in this one I will be doing the blood knot which I'm safe to I would be sh surely safe to say that it's the most used knot in fishing so go around eight times so once you've got that it should look like that and then you should see a little hole through it and then you put it through the hole like so and it doesn't seem to be going through huh. I just grab this And that should go through there. I won't go through there. Oops. Should go through there. I won't go through there. You should see a little. So you should see another hole. And you put it through the hole. And then you pull. That's how it should end up like that. And then you have this piece here and then all you do is you cut it off. So that's how it should look like like that with the swivel on the bottom and the loop on the top. Okay. Now for the sinker you would want about 75 centimeters to a meter on it, and you just snip it off, and then and then you do the blood knot again. So it goes one, two, three, four, five. Six, ah, seven, eight, and then you just do the same. You find the little hole, And you pull. And then it will end up like that, with the line coming up and then the line coming down, and then you should have a bit of access. 
leftover stuff and just snip that off. Alright, now, this is where your sinker comes in play. That loop knot I showed you before, that's what you do again. Make sure it's a bit of a big loop this time, so your sinker will fit through it. And then you go one, two, and then, and then just cut off the leftover bits. Okay. Now, see this hole in the sinker? So you put the loop through the hole of the sinker. I just pull it through and you make sure it goes all the way through and then you put it around the bottom of the sinker and you pull and that's what it should look like like that and then the top one righty now you don't need as much oh crap no, you don't need as much line. You probably only need about 40 to 75 centimeters on this one. So that will be enough. You just grab it. You do eight loops. Eight. Oops, you do the blood knot, sorry. And then you go around eight times. Okay, so when you've tied your third line down, this is when your gang four gangs come in. So you get your gangs, get the line to the top loop of the gang, and you do the blood knot. the loop like I showed you oh uh, and then again and you just cut off the thing and this is what it should look like it's a fairly long route you got your sinker here you got your gangs here and then you've got your top thing here. So in you cast when you do it, you want it to you want sinker to hit the floor, and then it'll hit the floor, and then your rig with the mealy on it will go across. So it's not on the bottom, and it's not on the top. It's like in the middle of the ocean, and then yeah. So yeah, All right. See us. Please rate, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.